All right, what's up bourbon lovers? Welcome to the bourbon shop. My name is Keith. Now today I'm gonna to feature a nice bourbon coming out of Viva Las Vegas. Smoke wagon, uncut and unfiltered. Now this was a creation of two friends, uh, Aaron Chepanick and Jonathan Hensley. Now they were in the bar scene or owners and they had conversations about what they would like to have out of uh, vodka and uh, bourbon the taste profile and one conversation led to another and boom a light bulb came on and they said hey well let's go for it so they started off with the vodka first but that eventually led right into them making uh bourbon um, but they wanted to make their home in doing this in las vegas las vegas didn't have a distillery there so they had to get with the city council in nevada so that they can start producing whiskey because this would be the first distillery in Viva Las Vegas. So you can only imagine what that heat was going to do to the maturation in Las, in Las Vegas because, you know, every uh, state is different with their climate, which can affect the bourbon that they are aging. Now, this bourbon is an MGP, which means it get its start or its birth in Indiana, but it is aged in Las Vegas. What does that heat do to bourbon? Let's get into it. Smoke Wagon Bourbon, the mash bill, 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malty barley. The MSRP is right around 60 bucks, maybe 65. Now the name Smoke Wagon is actually an old West slang term uh, referring to the 1873 Colt single shot army revolver. Just a tribute to the old wild west. Smoke Wagon. It's the uncut and unfiltered, meaning straight from the barrel. And this was this is uh, 115 proof. And unfiltered just means that they didn't send this through any kind of filtration to remove uh, any any impurities. Um, pretty much will give when uh, when they decide to do that in other bourbons, it gives it a clear appearance in the in the glass. Now, does it taste different? Does it? enhance the flavoring or change the flavoring of the bourbon that's a debate some people say it does some people say it, it does not i'm in a camp where it says it does not change the taste of the pure, of, of the bourbon but um as far as cosmetic or the way it appears in the glass it may appear appear less cloudy uh than one that is not uh filtered like the smoke wagon so that's it you know i don't think it changes the taste whatsoever the bottle you know I, I before i wasn't always a fan of these dark bottles but this this looks really nice i like this western vibe to it um because originally i like to see what the bourbon looked like before i buy it just to look at the color and everything but this is a gorgeous bottle uh, but you know like the temptation says uh beauty's on the skin deep yeah 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 so what's in the bottle hmm? let's see let's see if it's good on the inside as sexy as it looks on the outside here we go and that is a decent shade of a golden amber to me now i'm trying to look at these legs and they're not clinging as much as I would like them to. So it may not be as oily on the on the tongue as I normally would like. But let's go ahead and take it to, to the nose. Right off you get a lot of like these herbs and spices. All spice. Maybe some thyme. I'm smelling like a lemon peel. Uh, Dex, if you want to make a comment, you have to come in here. But right. tip tap, tip tap. All right, Dex, <laughs> that's my dog. Um, 
Nice molasses. Oh, thank goodness for carpet. Nice molasses. Like a, a buttercream, um, buttercream frosting. I'm getting that. It's a really good nose. Look, caramel, oak. Hey, have, have a seat. No more tap tap on the, uh, yeah, just have a seat. Have a seat, buddy. Okay, sit. Sit here with me. And some evergreen, like pine needles. But again, the um, the proof is 60% corn, 36% rye. So you're gonna get a lot of, uh, a lot of rye spices. Oh, that's good. Let's go to the palate. Mm. Oh, that's a spicy bourbon, man. Spicy. This really almost come across as a rye. I mean, that spice in the front palate, boom. Spicy, cinnamon, peppery. Yeah, that's real spicy. Let me see what the second sip does for me. Mm. There it is. So that second sip, I'm getting more of the sweet notes from the corn. Um, I like the caramel. It's uh, it's sweet, a nice uh, orange, maybe an orange peel. I think I'm picking up a little mint, like that. It's a thin chocolate mint that they sell. It's a uh, chocolate, and then right on the inside of the chocolate, it's a thin layer of mint. If you can separate that thin layer of mint, that's what I'm getting. A nice mint taste. I'm picking up some oak. And it's something else back here. Maybe a, a, a smidget of vanilla. Mm. I'm trying to see if I'm getting any dark fruit out of this. And I don't think I am, but I am picking up that uh, some of that molasses I had on the nose. <clears throat> But the only fruit I'm really getting out of this is that orange peel. Maybe a little honey. This is, but this overall, this is a pretty good bourbon. Um, it's 115. To me, it drinks maybe a little bit below that. Uh, but the spice can fool you. I mean, this almost come like I said to me. It's almost come across like a uh, a nice rye, but. You got that bourbon influence too. But it's just it's it's a it's a nice combination between the sixty percent bourbon, I mean uh, corn, and the high proof of the other uh, rye. This is a nice blend. And I know they blend these blend this up with a lot of uh, different high rye um, recipes. So it, it's really coming across nice, spicy, and sweet, um, with element of smoke. Yeah, it's good. Now, the finish. I get a nice Kentucky hug by way of Las Vegas. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm. Kind of hard to say with this one. Maybe it is sweet. Spicy. The finish is a little smoky. It's medium to long. Uh, more of the longer side. Yeah, this is a, a pretty good bourbon. Um, I 
it's one that I would definitely buy again. And it may be on my list of um, go-tos after <laughs> after the day. Uh, yeah, I would definitely buy this again. Have you tried this? That's what I want to know. Smoke wagon uncut and unfiltered. If you tried this, leave it in a comment. Let me know. Um, this is something that you uh, that you like. And what's your opinion on uh, filtered bourbon and unfiltered? Do you think it's a difference other than the appearance in the glass? Uh, I would love to know that as well. So that's my take on Smoke Wagon. It is a double thumbs up. I'm loving it. It's good. It's nice and spicy. It's sweet. It's almost like a burr rye. Um, and I like that little cross section of that. So it can go either way. You know, um, I'm telling you, if you drink this and someone tells you that's a rye, you may think twice. But the bourbon aspect of it really, really shines through. So at first glance, you might think it's a rye. But as you sip on it, you'll see with that bourbon influence of the honey, the caramel, uh, um, the uh, those dark um, syrupy notes that's going to come out. So the fool you may be in the front, but at the end, it's definitely a nice, sweet, and spicy bourbon. So let me know what you think about it, if you tried it, and would you buy it again, all right? So the best way to enjoy your bourbon is to drink it the way you like to drink it. And the best way to drink it is in a responsible way. And what do I always say? It never means shots. See you next time on the bourbon shop.